You know, Matt, we were having to talk the other day about which last dance like documentary we'd love to see about a long standing period um, that uh, we can, you know, reminisce about, run up, tell the story to the last dance between um, uh, in, in a in a in a in a dynastic run. And the Patriots are the one that won our that, that at least would be the one that I would love to see. Do you think that would ever happen on planet Earth, Matt Light? No, you, you're asking me. Do I do I think it's over? No. Do you think we could ever have a last dance type documentary that the people who uh, were involved in it would sit down and tell all in the same way that we're seeing Jordan and the Bills <laughs> tell all for the Patriots? Oh, yeah. I'm so, come on now. I didn't think you would ever ask me that question. You, you know, you'll you'll never get anything that you don't need to know, and you don't need to know anything coming out of that world. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty tight lipped in there, and you know, I think Bill's done you know, a, a really amazing job when I think about it over the years with the different people that he's had in the locker room um, and, and how well he's been able to keep things quiet. I mean, he likes, he, he likes to have it that way. And, and I think it serves the team best, but no, um, I, I don't think he'll ever get that opportunity, Rich. I'm sorry. Well, I don't know, Matt. I mean, let's just put it this way. Um, you know, if you asked Jordan that question, um, you know, just as they were breaking up in 98, uh, or anybody involved with the Bulls, you'd say, never, not a chance. And 20 years later, we're seeing all this footage because Jordan finally agreed to let this happen because I guess there's some part of him that wanted to tell the story. And we're seeing, you know, Belichick did the NFL 100 all-time team show as an analyst, maybe. And we're seeing Tom take to Instagram right now to refute stories to make sure that the record sets straight. Maybe people want the record, you know, out there and set things straight one day oh it's possible it's possible and look i think that you know when you saw nick saban and and coach belichick um during that hbo special that's right um i think that that kind of told you a little bit more and you got to see a little bit more of a glimpse behind the curtain but you know maybe there will be a day where coach belichick wants to sit down and he wants to talk about these moments you know um in a little bit more detail because he is a historian i mean when it comes to military um, uh, maneuvers and battles and, and, and things that go back um, in the history of this country as it relates to the military, he, he's, he, he's really into that kind of stuff. And it, it's no different whether it's the military stuff that was inspired by his father or just the, the rich history of the NFL and the different coaches. I mean, he, he uses examples of his time coaching with the Giants or what he heard from this coach, you know, 30 years ago and that coach, you know, 15 years ago. So, yeah, you may get an opportunity like that, but I think it's, it's many, many years down the road because I think he's still going to be coaching here for quite some time. So what was it like, uh, you know, we're seeing about Jordan's style of uh, motivating and Jordan's style of pushing – um, a- anything uh, similar to Brady in that regard or anybody else that leaps to mind, Matt? Yeah, well, look, I mean, if you if you look at Breeze and Brady, I, I use those two all the time in terms of, you know, people, you know, what makes them great? How, how are they able to do what they do? They've been doing it for so long at such a high level. You know, what's unique about them? And both of them have one thing exactly in common, and that's their competitive drive. And it shows up in everything they do. If they're throwing a piece of, you know, trash in a, in a waste basket, they've got to compete at it. Both of them. It's, it's uncanny how similar they are in that regard. Um, and so everything about what they do is competitive. They want to do it better the next time than they did it this time. Even if they did it perfect this time, they really want to do it better. Um, and so when you mix that with a very cerebral approach to how they plan each and every one of their days, their nutrition, I mean, you've seen it with Tommy, you drink enough water, you never get a sunburn, you're right, right? you always wear Uggs and Stetson Cologne. I mean, he's got a system, right? And I love to bust his chops, but it works, and he does it really well every single day. Are you saying he wears the same cologne? Is that what you just said, Matt? Is that what you said? Well, well, we we had a lot of fun back in the day when he was doing some ads for Stetson. You know, oh, okay. um, you know, one of the most fashion forward people I know, and he's 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 out there repping. You know, my great grandfather's cologne. Um, <laughs> you know, so 
We we actually one nice. day I doused our center yes. in an entire bottle that he left us in our locker, yes. and I put it on his shoulder pad. So he obviously had no idea that I just covered him, and he didn't smell it until we had stopped walking, and the wind caught up with him. At which point he he was teary eyed for most of the practice because <laughs> it was extremely pu- pungent, and Tommy could barely get under center. It was so bad. <laughs> Did he know it was you who sent, who used his personal scent on uh, on the center? Did he did he trace that to you, Matt? That you know, happened? I think he probably had a pretty good idea. Um, I was definitely blamed for many of these shenanigans over the years. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.